Welcome to I Made Joe. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for polka dots. The runway theme for this episode. Can I tell you I love polka dots? Mm -hmm. They're coming up a lot for me lately, even before this episode Everything's happened. Everything's coming up dotted. Yes. Dot was my favorite Animaniac because she was the girl. I think I Although liked... the tall one could get it. <laughs> yes, I mean, well, he's old. He's yeah. older now. He's not a child anymore. No, 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 yeah. His attitude was always very adult, and that's what I meant. He's probably Pete Davidson in human form. Tall. <laughs> Did I ruin it for you? Don't bring up Pete Davidson when I'm trying to have a nice childhood memory. <laughs> I'm sorry. A horny childhood memory. I liked I'm the fourth one. I'm living for the Kanye, Pete Davidson internet stuff. And in Pete Davidson's defense, which is not something I do often, I think 95% of this is coming from Kanye and his own mental health concerns. But God damn, it's fun to watch. That is fun. Take care of yourself. What was his name? Aviator. Josh Safdie. Aviator. Leo DiCaprio. Aviator. Oh, Howard Hughes. Yeah. He had mental health concerns, but he was so rich, they just let him grow his fingernails out. That's how he eventually... He had a long, very long fingernails. We did just see each other. We're seeing each other constantly, so it is a bit of a concern. I love, I love it. As of filming, it's currently 50 degrees in Chicago, but as of time of release, what are we supposed to get? Seven we're supposed inches to get seven of inches snow? of snow tomorrow. Mm. We're all out, okay, it's 50 degrees, so we're all wandering outside going, maybe God doesn't hate us. Yeah. Maybe, maybe life does have a purpose after all. And then tomorrow, LOL, sorry, gay marriage caused this. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's going to do the classic old switcheroo of, hey, you want seven inches? And switcheroo? Sickle. Oh, wait, let me do oh, my, I'm sorry. he's going to say, hey, you want seven inches? And we'll be like, ooh, please don't mind if I do. And then he'll be like, of snow. And we'd be like, fuck. A good five, a good fiver will do you. Oh, I don't need seven. Mm -hmm. Please. Take okay. five. Take five. That candy, <laughs> <laughs> that candy bar. Take five. And then when your doctor does your yearly anal exams, he'll your go. anal pap. Oh, wow. I kind of struggled a little to get that finger in there. And you'll go. I will do ya. Let's dive right into this episode. Yes, because, because this yeah. was controversial to say the least. I have to say from an outsider's point of view, and by outsiders I mean the world, this is a very frustrating series. I'll agree with you. This episode, you know what it was. We just came off the American drag race loss of our straight ally. And so losing a straight ally to then losing a child's nightmare in one week yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was an upset for sure, but I agreed with it. I agreed with it, and I'll, I think we'll get there. Okay, I need time to really digest what you just said. But once we get to that point, oh, oh, all oh, I have oh, to say is I'll I'm open to it. Thank you. But tread lightly. Because obviously I would have wanted other people to go first. We're going we're gonna to get there. Michelle. Let's, it's after the last episode, and Jimbo is revealed. <laughs> oh, God. Very uncomfortably, reveals, reveals very a cookie awkwardly at first. Funny. Pulls a silky. Love. Funny. Love references. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sad. And then pulls out Jujubee's lipstick. Last time it was all friendship. It was Jim Jubee. It was... Well, so it did come out in this conversation that Jimbo had been, I don't want to say playing both sides, but Jimbo had just been running her mouth. We'll well, put it that way. And and here's the thing. If you're going to do that, fine. That's your strategy. Fine. But to kind of come out with it sort of at the beginning, she could have held on to that information and played the game a little longer. What I do you think. mean not reveal the lipstick? I think that would have been even more uncomfortable for everyone. Yeah. I mean, she had to reveal the lipstick, but I think, I think the, it was the way weird. I think she could have gotten out of it instead of saying, Saying, I wanted to sing with RuPaul, which was psychotic. And this is 2020 vision, okay? This is Hugh Downs, Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters. I pulled your lipstick, Juju, and that's only because as much as I feel aligned with you, blah, 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 we did initially say we would play based on the performance. And then give some sort of reason that Cheryl performed better, or you felt more connected to her performance. And really keep it on the level of, as a group, this is better for the group. Instead of, I don't know why I did it. Ugh. I don't know. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that was... Jimbo was feeling confident going into that lip sync, and I think that was her error. Agree with you. I, I think there's something about Jimbo where it's part of what scares me about Jimbo, 
is mm -hmm. I don't, th I think Jimbo is performing 100% of the time in that clown way of like, I what that. are you doing, little couch? Or what are you, like, I get so that. I don't feel like we really know like Jimbo. Like she said to Hot Judge, and Hot so, Bridgerton, when she was like, oh, hi. Like, the whole time, yeah. it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's a character and we like it, but it doesn't ever let down. Art. So we feel like there's never, there's never that, that, that genuine, sincere, genuine moment. sincere moment. So when she was doing that with Jujube last time, oh, you just straight up lied to her. But we did see in her talking head when she was like, even I'm kind of surprised by my choice. I just decided to do the like, see, I think she's that... the better competitor thing and so I just decided to fucking do it. See, I think even that was just covering her ass oh, for the film. audience. To me that felt you. genuine. But maybe I fell for it. You know what it was? I watched it early in the morning, okay? And you know I'm whole 30-ing so I couldn't whole 28-ing if you will. I couldn't have sugar with my coffee. So Wait. I, my mind has been a little... Is this funny? Cheryl Holt is a, a Cheryl Holt 30? And she does like 30 stops on a tour. And the entire time she's not eating dairy. And no one, no, no, she can. But oh. no one else can, can. Can eat sugar. Yeah. Huh. Cheryl? We don't need any because she's sweet. Okay. So we get uh, that. Awkward. It was awkward. It did feel like, for me, part of me, earth to me, it felt very, we know how the episode's going to end. I'm gonna say that. They love that point, to do that. Well, yeah. at that point, who's gonna trust her? It's a game of survival. It's a game of strategy, no matter what you Outside think. of Baga winning, I think she was always gonna be fucked. And obviously Baga was not gonna win because, you know, Baga, but. Oh, and then we get the announcement that, so remember we talked about this and you were like, I think she's still going by Monique. She officially announced she's doing Mohart. They want to be a genderless entertainer. Which I love. I love Fabulous. That. that is one of the things, and I have to say this, and I do owe you a huge debt of gratitude. I want to thank you for giving me the name Darby. <gasps> Darby is her uncle's name, and as soon as I heard it, I said, that's insane. He has colon so cancer right now. Honestly... I'll carry on his name. Thank you. Tell him to let go. I will. As soon as my name went from a very only femme name to a what the fuck kind of name that can move between genders, yeah. it's so much easier. Like it's just so it's, you freed it's yourself. Kind of. So for instance, you and me and Michael Marino, patron to the stars, some would say, we did a live Ask Rana event, one of our favorite podcasts. With Rana and Brian. And we got to do a meet and greet with Rana and Brian and we were introducing ourselves. And thank you, Michael, for and that. And it was just so much easier to just say, like when they asked what my name was, I just said Darby. So I have to say from Mo's point of view. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm oh. so sorry for your loss. I'm just letting you know. No, he's not dead yet. No, but if he does, I don't, I, like, I'm so busy right now. I don't think he should. His wife. And then it's time for the library. The biblioteca is open. Now, Darby, you are one of, if not the funniest person I know. You are so quick with the reads and the jokes. Thank you. What did you think? Let me, yeah. I forgot I had those. My prescription's really bad, though. Are you okay? I can't put it in. My wig is glued over my ears, so I'm just gonna here. The okay. library is open. Juju, of course, is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Juju killed it as always. I think this was Juju's. I think um, Mo made me so uncomfortable. Yeah, Blue I think Blue did, did what okay. Blue does Blue? I think Blue surprises us with comedy stuff. Yeah, she does often tend to lean rather Blue with her humor, and that is. Do you know that term? Blue Is humor? that the same as Blue Karma? Blue, blue Karma? Dirty. <laughs> blue Karma? <Blue collar. laughs> Is that Blue Collar? Is that Blue Karma? Because that, no, no, no. that comedy will work with the Blue Collar crowd? Possibly. I don't know. The, but but I know it's... Blue is dirty. It, blue is like kind of dirty. Because it rhymes with poo. And poo is dirty. Congratulations, Juju. She wins. And then we find out we are doing a rusical, which, yes. Alexis, can I tell you this in all seriousness? My yeah. dream is to see a rusical done live. Like to be able to sit in a small to many sized theater and see a rusical done live, like right in front of my face. Maybe like the Las Vegas one? Because I think that's a rusical. No, like one that is in Chicago. Um, off Newport, that street, <laughs> and just like sitting and seeing a rusical performed in front of me, live. Wouldn't that be wild? <gasps> <laughs> oh 
Oh, Darby. What? You're in love. Did it take you that long for real? Yes. Oh, I sad. had no clue okay. what you were doing. All right. Yes, Maureen San Diego Presents is bringing you a Ruse-sicle. It's called Ruse-sicle. Yeah. And it is starring Maureen San Diego, Shalita Cake, the incredible Chanel Mercedes Benz as Rubal Chorles. And I'm in it. As well, I'm going to be playing myself. I think that's great. I'm so excited. And it is March 20. Six. At the Newport Theater, tickets are on sale now. Thank She'll you be for on stage. I'll be drunk in the audience. I'm so excited. First of all, Maureen San Diego is one of the funniest yeah, people I, on I, the planet. I think we're gonna have to get her in here. Well, and you, and also just to be clear, IMHO does not support this production. We do not want to be pulled into the lawsuit that is bound to happen to make the tens of fives of dollars um, that she's gonna get off of that show. But all the names are changed. All the, the names room. are changed to Ruball. I promise you, Maureen has written something that will make you it is talk for hours. Okay, after. can I tell you? you? Until you go to bed, and then it, you wake up and you move on. It is like doing theater again. There's a script. It no, is. I know. I saw so the rehearsal funny. picture. There's a there was a binder. I have another rehearsal tonight. Well, it's yeah. incredible. So we are keep an eye out for the middle of the afternoon, which is not something we often do, and I, I feel like weird. It. No, I. Oh. Well, it just no. We don't have to do it. Ever well, no, again, because but... we have to do things after. Like you have rehearsal for the ruse. Yes. Sickle. Oh, and you're going. I'm going to, the... to an open mic for your one year anniversary. Queer night. We got married two months ago. How does a cake survive a year in a freezer? It's in a freezer. Because Juju B won the reading challenge, well deserved Juju. She gets to assign the roles for this. What's it called? Wendy's West End Wendy's. West End Wendy's because that's their Broadway. Yes. Yeah, so what and happens? Wendy's is... is their Burger King. I'm sorry, they can't have Burger King because they have a queen. Have you seen? Did I tell you? What you see? You do see, and I'll do tell. Tell me. Remember Pickles event from Burger King? Yeah. Ordered again the other day. No. But this time I ordered because no, no, you just got meant, me on the no. <laughs> You got me on the cheese, the cheddar poppers. I'm on the whole 28. I take, I take no responsibility for cheese poppers right now. Well, I ordered them and they didn't come. Thank God. Someone at Burger King so has good. it in for me. They're so good though. Someone right? at Burger King hates my guts. Or they love your guts because that will destroy your guts. <laughs> my guts. They were trying to save it. My guts have been through worse. But no, did you see? There's a tweet that says, I love their soft launching the queen's death. <laughs> because they're releasing more and more like, hey, here's a fun fact about when Prince Charles and Camilla get crowned. But there's still no, like, word on, like, is the queen alive? I adore it. And I also just want to say, I want to go on record. It's over. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's over. Camilla queen, over. Andrew, them finally coming to terms with the fuck shit he's done, over. Being mean to Meghan Markle, over. That needs to be over. We're over. It's over. You know what soft launch I'd reminds me of? I'd love to see them start an OnlyFans or whatever. What? You know what soft launch reminds me of? You saying soft launch? Mashed potatoes. Yeah, and soaking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Mormon community. Ah. Everyone's pretty calm and wanting the roles that they get, even though half of them wanted what lally balls or whatever. Juju's pretty chill about it. Fair. Ju Juju's very nice, okay? Yeah. There's never been an issue of if she's nice or not. It's more of like, why is she wearing that? With the exception of Baga, everyone gets the role that they want. And then we and have a repeat of the sewing challenge where Baga is just pouty, pissed pouty, as pouty, fuck. Pouty, pouty, yeah. I think this is an issue, and we've, we've said this with All Stars before, when a queen returns, a queen that you already hold in high regard, and they kind of shit on their image in some way or the other due to their performance on All Stars, it's disconcerting. Alaska throwing her hissy fit on All Stars was tough to see. Mm -hmm. Seeing Juju kind of underperform herself in past series is, is hard to see. And seeing Baga throw these temper tantrums is... Not fun. I will say this about Juju. That tweet I sent you, someone on Twitter was yeah. like... I saw Bambi say, you get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. Competing for $100,000 versus Juju competing for a chance to sing with RuPaul. And that kind of changed my mind frame a little bit. And my glasses frames. To be fair, because of the way it's set up, because, you know, Brexit, they can't pay them. But the prize of singing with RuPaul is not just singing with RuPaul. It's also... They're gonna pay them for the song. So oh, that's gonna, a good idea. They are gonna get money. Oh, well, well, it's good the same for thing them. with like regular UK. They're not just getting a repeater badge, they're getting a, a series in LA. You know, they're getting paid for the series. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's get to the performance. And I do have to say, though, um, yeah. the guest judge, Jonathan Bailey. Oh. So I'm currently rewatching Bridgerton because the new C's is coming out very shortly. And I got to say. I know. I would love to be under a bridge uh, with him. I'd love to throw you off a bridge. I mean, he's gorgeous. All of the Bridgerton boys are fucking gorgeous. I have to For agree. me? I'll have to agree. Pot on me, earth to me. I'm a Sean to me. Sean to me. I'm a bigger fan of the youngest. Colin? No, it's the middle one. Who's the hot one? So so they're going, the middle they one. go in order. Middle one. Oh, you like Benedict, the gay one. Well, the, the shades of gay. They tried to do a gay thing and he was like not totally into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. That's that's him. Fantastically hot. He's the oldest. He's straight on the show. I'm talking about middle. Well, they all kind of look the same. I thought you me. were rewatching the series. Are you listening to it? As a I podcast? am, but they do different. They do different clothes in this. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's talk about vagina heels. Is Fanny hilarious? Hilarious. Scary. Terrifying. Scary, but. Terrifying. Incredible. I will say, Jonathan Bailey, even though he's hot, and I would take a seven if he had it. Little too comfortable with the with the uh, notes. Agreed. Uh, 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 toe in the line, buddy. Well, the reason is cis white gay men who've never done drag no. have very strong opinions on social media. So I think he was embodying that. Hot, I'm sorry. No. Hot cis white straight men telling a, a drag queen no, with confidence not, what to do. They're not all hot. It's not great. I have this question, mm. and I, I think we already have the answer to it, but the costumes that they were wearing... Basically, they know what role they're going to get ahead of time, and they bring what they're going to wear. I, I was thinking about because this, Because when Baga is fighting so hard for Liza, I brought a Liza outfit. I have the Liza hair. I have the Liza impression. So she came fully prepared to play that role. The Annie outfit, specifically with Pangina, the way that it was bejeweled and all of that, that read as Pangina. Like that red is if she brought that. Producers, what's tea? Please DM us and let us know. Well, first of all, let us know what the fuck is going on. Bag of chips as Tracy Turnblad. Tracy Fatberg is what they gave her the name of. What? Her name was Tracy because they gave them all fake names. Fatberg? Part of me did wonder if that was maybe a part of it, but it's like, it's a costume, it's a fun. And Fat that's. Fatberg? Why Fatberg? It's nothing <laughs> like Turnblad. Okay, but it is funny. Fatberg. Not the terminology, but the sounds. Name a funnier consonant than an F or a B. K. K. C. Hard C. K. That's not funny. That's tragic. No. Calista Flockhart. Camilla. Cum. Tragic. Combine those three. That's a tragic situation. <laughs> <laughs> she did fine. I think she did fine. Yeah. I think she, I think if she had done a better Liza. I don't know that she would have done a great Liza, but she could have played off of the old shit she had done when she did Liza or when she wandered around the runway as Liza previously. I think if she hadn't had an attitude, this would have been like yeah, middle of the road. Fine. Maybe. Yeah, it was, it it was, was fine. fine. And she could have had so much more fun with this. Juju B as Liza Minnelli. I didn't understand the nose. Yikes. Yeah, the nose was confusing, but also just in general, everything. I thought it was not horrible. I think... Was it Liza? If, if you just watched it... Liza's no, a no, 10. I think she Liza could... is always a 10. Uh, so I agree so with that. So even if you can't do a Liza impersonation, you need to be so batshit that they're you too need afraid to, be loose. to tell you that you did it wrong. Yeah, I agree. Sorry. She could this have amped it up. not good. Blue as Mariah Gontrappi... I mean, this part was written for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Innocent. Funny. Into sexy. Into slutty. Liked it. Yeah, liked it. Mo Hart as Dr. Spankenspurter. It was good. She's a great performer, but they put a lot of pressure, a lot of emphasis on her the redeeming cart. herself with the cartwheel. And she didn't quite redeem herself in the eyes of the judges because they felt like they saw the notes in the head. I... For me, Potter me, Earth to me, I'm going to be honest with you. When Michelle gave that note, that she could see it on her face, and then they replayed it in slow motion, I did not see it. I, I did not see it. But perhaps. I didn't see it either. I, you would see the stump, the stumble. I appreciate her yeah. thinking, I can redeem myself I'm too Mo. She did not redeem herself, unfortunately. But it wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible, but if you're building it up to this redemption moment, it better be perfect. Yeah, 
I guess. Janie Jacquet as Meryl Streep, I gotta say it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, Janie Jacquet is Meryl Streep, as, like as far as her <laughs> accomplished career. No, but as far as like, Meryl Streep has a, has a more subtle, lower energy type vibe. And once Janie was able to let go of the like, I'm a show horse, I'm a pony, because that's what she was thinking, I'm sure. And take it down a notch, it worked really well. Yeah, I loved it. And I loved yeah. these three nutcrackers spray painted gold to represent Oscars. Perfect. <laughs> Whoever did the set design. That's basically what an Oscar is. You get a repeater badge. It's a spray badge. painted. You Not get a repeater her. badge. Jimbo as Dodo the dog. I agree with the judges about like, she held the basket in front of her face and I understood why she did that for the lyrics, but it, it did cover the one thing that they're looking at you to do, which is lip, lip sync. sync. Let's talk about neck gait. Do you think this was strategy as some of the other gals inferred or do you think she really had a neck issue? As someone who has thrown every part of her body out by sleeping on it funny, I think it is quite possible she had a neck concern that day. Yeah, I agree. And I do think it's quite possible it cleared itself up because she didn't sleep on it weird again because at our age, that happens. I've thrown my back out by opening a drawer and her saying like, and I can already tell it's fucked up and if I fuck it up more, I'm gonna seize up completely. To no, me, that's knowing yourself. For me, earth to me, that made sense. That is someone who definitely remembers the tower's falling and is just trying to cope. Yeah. But with that said, the overall performance was so uncomfortable to watch because you could see her thinking through everything. When in actuality, like Rue said, sorry to agree with Rue, but we want to see half the choreography, but half you, like half Jimbo. We needed to see yeah. some weird choices being made. Let's see you embody this dog. Let's see Toto do that thing in that famous clip of the Toto that runs off the stage. Just completely <laughs> runs and falls. Fucking do that. Yeah. Sniff your butt. Go around in circles. Sniff someone else's like butt. Like my with other consent. aunt's dog. I think Jimbo is really good at physicality in a clown way, with like the head to the side and whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that's why his neck was so messed up. But incorporating head the body. Out. But I think as a lip sync dancer mover on stage, as someone with a full functioning I don't, body. I don't think Jimbo Correct. does that well. And that's okay. This doesn't work well for you on this platform where you have to dance or, you know, move well. I don't think Jimbo has that kind of control of their body. Which is fine. We don't all, you know, obviously I do. You know, I'm known for all of my movements, my You're a beautiful dance. mover, and I'm not saying that to be your friend. When we would do, when I'm we were doing it. Snow White or any of those, you would get it, and you look so beautiful because you're so thin, the lines are gorgeous. I'm Dodo. So the show is over, yay. So then we head into the runway. Now the runway is dot, dot, dot. I love this runway. Right? Yeah. I love polka dots. Well, obviously, you're wearing them. And you are too. <gasps> okay, I have to be honest with you. I thought these were stains. First up, we have Jimbo. Jimbo came out as an actual dot on the head. Yeah. Loved. Cool. I also loved when hot Bridgerton, no, Graham, less hot, but still could bridge your way I would do, yeah. yeah. Was Cleveland like, yeah, Steamer. You immediately hit the physicality of it, and that's so funny. That's, clown. Yeah, clown, clown behavior. Juju B. Okay. Do you want to have a moment about this hem? <laughs> it's blow up snakes glued to a dress, as Michelle, I think, said. I wish the hair was a little bit more coiffed. Yeah, I, I wish someone had taken a brush to it. And, and her makeup also, this entire episode, just kind of fumbled. This wasn't a great showing for Juju. Yeah. Blue hydrangea, so freaking cool. Five this faces. This was the look of the night for me. Yeah. This was incredible. Blue is not to be uh, touched. Blue is Blued. un, yeah, incredible. Janie Jacquet, I liked this a lot. I thought it was so cute. So adorable. It gave me a goofy movie. <gasps> like it gave, yeah. uh, it's very cartoon, it's, I really enjoyed it. And it, it also, like, she's, she looks gorgeous. Her makeup was great with it. I just thought she looked like a million bucks. Yeah. Covered in holes. Wait, sorry, my poop is coming out. Oh, Mo Hart. This was... Sully! This was Sully. This was next level. The oh, look... She brought out Mike like... Wazowski, threw him to the ground, which is what you do when you have a Mike Wazowski in your life. You know yeah. what I mean? And... I wait, like I, no, wait, I'm the, I'm the lady in that movie right now. Rob. I'm the slug lady. You're right. <laughs> what does she say? Wazowski. Yeah. Get in here and fuck. I 
do think it's hilarious when people do character porn of like Pixar movies. Oh, tentacles. So funny. Yeah. Wait, what? This is brilliant. I feel like Mohard Camp aren't getting enough attention. No. These are fucking These are fucking top. incredible. Every single thing has been immaculate incredible. Yeah. Every single look. Yeah, loved it. Up next we have Pandana, Pandana Heels. Heels. I couldn't you know what killed me? You know what made me like it even more? Was when we got the close-up and I realized those aren't just the little balls, like little fluff balls that you glue on like Rock and Sakura that you could just buy in a bag. Those were hand-sewn balls that she stuffed. She made those. Those are <gasps> fabric balls. Oh, wow. Those are handmade. This cool art thing that revealed, like... Loved. The entire look was just so well thought out. She's proven why she's uh, the host of a, ser of a franchise. Yeah. Bag of chips. Now, with the exception of the wig, I love this look. I would wear it. Yes. It's giving very, like, Barbie, Diana big at business. the races. Big business. The hair was unfortunate. What? Why? Was it a wet look under a hat? Where if it was raining, your hair wouldn't be wet. Maybe she left her hat in the carriage or whatever. Oh, it pulled the oh, water pool. <laughs> And so she, she did one to, of these right yeah. before. Which would have been very funny to see. Yeah. So, hey, seeing the punchline of the joke, well worth it. <laughs> <laughs> we do a little judgy judgy. We find out that the top two are, in fact, Janie Jacquet. Janie Jacquet. I think well-deserved. Well-deserved. And Pangina Hills. Pangina Hills. There's no question. I completely mind. agree. Our bottom two are Juju B and, and Jimbo. Jimbo. I I agree with Jujubee being down there. I don't know why Mo and Blue are getting overlooked so much. It feels like they're getting overlooked, and it feels like they are purposefully overlooking Baga. Now, Baga wasn't horrible in the, in the sense of what she presented to the judges this episode, but I think overall... There's some choices being made. The Baga thing, I agree. There's also seems to be a lack of, as you said, the first episode, it's mean to not tell her the truth. <laughs> I do well, feel like someone's lying to her. Well, what it feels like to me, and I, I'm gonna put on my conspiracy theory hat. Well, let me pour the water out so I don't yeah, do a Baga. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put on my conspiracy theory hat. The way that Baga is behaving, so boldly being bold. such- Bold. So, being so bold, feels as though she was told ahead of time that she would she was win. She win, yeah. So she doesn't ha need to try or even pretend to be pleasant ever. And I don't want to be mean. And, and I don't want to say And we're hate. saying that as people who are just seeing the edit. We understand that she's a, she's probably very kind. I'm of sure course. there are moments that we're not Of seeing. course, and I bet so we would get that. along really well with her. As long as we or don't have she to would have talked to us at all. Unless we want to. Baga and Juju specifically, they're such powerhouses in the drag race world. And so to not see them go in, and, and their reasoning, it's probably very sound, but from a viewing standpoint, it is a little frustrating to not see them go in and give just like 110%, and then to see fucking Mo Hart and Blue walk down the runway as they did, giving 200%, uh, which is more than 100. It's frustrating. Yeah. We get a lip sync. It seems that Pangina is trying to fuck with Lemon even more. Not only did she already send her home, <laughs> but she dressed up as her uh, to send another Canadian. I want to. I want to say this. When I saw her get ready for this lip sync, I thought, "Why is Pangina wearing that? And what's the makeup?" But then when the song the started, song I was like, sense. "Okay, I get yeah. it now, and I like yeah. it. It's fun." Yeah. There is a style to Pangina that is so dynamic that I think a lot of her looks do initially give you that, what the fuck? And then you can't help but just fully embrace it and love yeah. it. Yeah. So Pangina very rightfully Clearly so won. won. And Pangina decides that she is going to continue to shit directly into Justin Trudeau's mouth. And <laughs> we have to say goodbye to our, to our other Canadian queen, Jimbo. She sent Lemon home and she said, you know what? Let me just make sure I'm never invited to that country. Can I say two things? Yeah. One, did you see Lemon posted a TikTok of her reads? Yes. They're really funny. Yeah, they are. Lemon is good at reading. Remember yes. her season two? No. And I just it, don't remember. She was good. But yeah. Number two, this is what I was saying about Jimbo. You never see the author, like the, who sincerely Jimbo is as a person. Because even when she was crying, she was plastering on that smile and... But I don't think that's fair to say. I think that's just sometimes how people behave in those emotional moments. I think it was very purposefully a performance. 
like a performance. Not the words she was saying and not the tears, but the, the choice to smile and the choice to give a little speech. I don't know. I think it was calculated. I think a lot of what Jimbo does is calculated. Okay. And I'm it's gonna, hard because she's from Canada I'm and she's calculating everything with metric. Right. So we couldn't possibly understand it. No. What is a kilometer and why is it hurting us? Yeah. I disagree with you, but I can understand your point of view. I very much loved seeing Jimbo kind of break down and just be so thankful for her exposure to RuPaul or RuPaul's exposure to her, really. Why am I just saying exposure? Northern exposure, Canada. Most, most. But I just, I... I thought it was really sweet and so sad to see her go, especially yeah. since she's been performing so fucking well. Yeah, I think there's a space for Jimbo. I don't know if it's here. That's one of my favorite parts about these smaller casts is that there is no telling who's going to go home next. There isn't this long track record that everyone's taking into account. It really does come down to this particular episode. What did you think? I like that. Yeah. Keeps me guessing. But I'm so sad to see both of our Canadian powerhouses leave. Espe I mean, sorry to keep hitting this dead lemon, but just seeing Lemon gone so early was so that difficult. doesn't make sense with my fantasy. And then to see Jimbo leaving this early, it's, yeah, sad. But it was another episode of UK versus the <laughs> but world. But it was another episode. <laughs> I'll say I enjoyed watching this. I don't like what's happening, <laughs> no. but I'm finding the no. light. I'm finding the light in the tunnel. In <laughs> I definitely don't always or ever agree with the judges on this particular franchise, but it is really fun to watch. And I'm going to be watch. honest. I am ready to see next week. You know, I, I'm bummed that Jimbo's gone because Jimbo did win Snatch Game. So to see her gone right before Snatch Game is pretty sad to me because I'd love to see her destroy Snatch Game yet again. But next week for Snatch Game, I'm so excited to see who rises to the top. I'm also just ready to see Baga and Juju, who are also really good Snatch Game competitors, show us the fire. Like I'm ready yeah. for them to really shine. I think Baga has felt like she is being put in situations that aren't hers to perform well in and it's giving us a very nasty picture of her. So I'm excited to see her in a more comfortable yeah. space. I think it'll be fun to see. Yeah. And she... we'll fall in love with her all over again or, or we won't. Well, sometimes you are mad at the one you love. I mean, you and your husband. Yeah, I've never been happy. If you enjoyed this episode, oh, before we go, actually, what? Um, we saw something that Blue was doing and we decided to steal from her because it is fun to steal from, from immigrants. Everything. You know, we're Americans. <laughs> we're Americans. We're bad people. You should run for president. Thank you. I think you could win. That's me waving a flag. Blue, every time she does a really amazing look, which is basically every day, she takes Polaroids of those <gasps> looks oh and my she God. sells them. So we have decided that every time we meet to film, yeah. we'll take a little Insta mini Polaroid. Can I show them? Yeah. We're um, not gonna do the amazing look part that Blue does. We're gonna no, skip no, no, no. that and we're just gonna so do So we the... don't have time for that because you know, we are dealing with with current political climates and, and current climate hey, change. Hey, look at me. Wow. Thank you, this is really dynamic. So we have these little Polaroids and they will only be, we're just gonna take one or two and sign it and put it on imhotheshow.com so that you can go ahead and get yours. Now, the looks from our previous episode and the looks from this episode are up on our website now. So you can go ahead and head over there and grab yours. Never to be seen again. Special edition. Special Lim edition. Limited edition. Thank you, Blue, for the idea. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and little bell notification so you get notified every time we post a new yeah. video. And you want to hear all the dirty tea? Go to patreon.com slash IMHO the show for everything dirty, you didn't see tea. here and everything you didn't want to see. It's mostly stories about our exes or sex or family members or all three. <laughs> We're from the South. Also, you can get a message from us on Cameo. We are all on Cameo, including Chan, so you can go ahead and get those individual little messages. Yes, I figured out how why mine wasn't coming up. It's because I didn't that? put a space in between Alexis and Bubbles, but now Do there's you think a that's space. That's the reason? There's no P. P is never written down. P is just kind of in the air. I have two cameos that I need to film before I get out of drag, so do not let me forget. How many should I remind you to do? Now that you've made yours so easy to find. Well, that, that, I, I just made the change before we, you, we haven't released the last episode yet. Oh, so they didn't know. Mm-hmm. 
And then you can go to IamHOthershow.com for our merch. And if you want a shamio, that's where you can get a message from both of us together where we'll tell you how to do, you know, step by step the process of how to do a surgery. surgery. Or oh, how did to you do. see that? I know, they live. Oh my God. Our friend, Jason Mark, or J Bay. As, as he's often called on, on internet sometimes, on, on occasion. He was having surgery to remove a cancerous tumor and he bought a shamio from us and we explained to the surgeons how to remove it. And guess it what? They did it. It worked. And we, we, did did, it. we didn't even have to scrub up. No, we actually, our hands stayed very dirty the whole time. Congratulations, j Bay. we love you. Now we are still doing our giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I got half of it in today. <gasps> so I have all of the Drenched Cosmetics products here and Midas just let me know that they their portion of it just shipped, so it will be here very soon. So go ahead and donate to Brave Space Alliance one of these amounts. You'll be entered into a giveaway for a gift basket of beauty products by Black Beauty Creators worth over $200 or a new Alexis Bevels, huh? Sure. Huh? Or my favorite black eyeliner, of course, the Drench Cosmetics Deep Space Liner. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. You have your rehearsal. Yeah, and you have your one year anniversary party. Two months. Am I not? Why am I not invited to that? So it's not one year. You were there two months ago. Well, why are you going back to the same place? There's a, it's an event that you were too busy for because you had rehearsal, so okay. you can't go. I wanted to invite you. No, you know why you didn't? Because it's an open mic, and you know I would go up there. <laughs> <laughs> So true. I'll My let, trauma. I'll let y'all know how that goes. Okay, we love you. Bye. I'm gonna play Granny some more. <laughs> I don't know why I like being scared so much in game form, but it's kind of like Goldeneye. You walk around and just hear like the swishing of. Did you hear the swishing? I feel like I'm wearing a lot of crinolines. Okay, I gotta go to this one. She can't hear doors, which is crazy, but you can hear when she opens doors. Yeah, she just opened a door somewhere, but she can hear squeaks. And you see this hanger right here? If you knock, if you even come close to that thing, it'll fall down and she'll hear that. But she doesn't hear this. Oh, oh, the weapon key. Okay, this is fun. Granny has a, a locker with She's coming. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna hide under this bed. Look, she's coming. She opened that door. <gasps> That's my scared breathing. She's back, she's in there. She's in going in the secret tunnel. She's just standing there looking, and there's nothing I can do. Well, I can go here, but she's okay, probably gonna hear me. <laughs> Wait, she talks to you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. You can get in this locker. We all need, you know. Connections. Well, I wanna. I just wanna show you. Look, she's gonna hear that key, and she's gonna come and run in. How does she move so quickly? Cause this is the oh, hard level. Shit. Look at her. Okay, that is really scary. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. That.